Alicia and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be doing a book haul. Earlier this week, my mom, sister, and I went to a bigger city for a girls trip thing. And while we were there, I noticed that they had an Ollie's. I heard from a ton of people that Ollie's has really good deals on books. And so I totally had to stop because there isn't one around me. I got a couple books from Ollie's and now I'm going to show you what they are. The first book is The Ringmaster's Wife by Christy Cambron and I don't have any of her books but ever since I read The Lady in the Lionheart I've been totally wanting more circusy type books and this one I believe is based kind of around a circus. I don't know anything else about it but I know that it's intriguing and I've been wanting to read it and it was only a couple dollars so I bought it. The next book is Like Never Before by Melissa Tagg. This I actually saw at the end. I went to take books back and put them down and I, this book just popped out to me. I was like wait this is by Melissa Tagg. I've heard nothing but amazing things about her and again it was just kind of something that I pick up. I don't know anything about it but I had been looking at her books earlier in the day on Amazon and thrift books, just couldn't decide what to do, so I went ahead and grabbed this one to give it a go to see if she's an author that I'll fall in love with. The next book I got was Crescent by Homer Hickam, and this is a sci-fi book. There aren't really a ton of them, at least to my knowledge. I'm just now getting into the YA genre, so I'm sure there's more out there than I think there is. But this seemed really, really cool, and this is book two in a series, so I went ahead and purchased book one and book three later on in the day from a different site. Um, but I am really excited to read this because it does look really, really intriguing. And the last book I got actually has a little bit of a story, so buckle up, buttercups. I'm about to tell you something fun. A couple days ago, I went on Instagram and did a poll and asked you guys if I should save money or if I should finish a couple series that I need to finish on my bookshelf. The majority of you knew my heart and you told me to finish a couple series. However, my sister decided that I needed to save my money and she was letting me have it at the store because she's like, I told you you need to save your money. So, well, I didn't really ask you. And technically I did, but that's beside the point. Anyways. I decided to finish a couple series that I had had waiting to be finished on my bookshelf and one of them was a biblical fiction series that I needed to finish and just quite hadn't done it. I needed book one. I almost got it on Amazon but I was like, you know what, something kept telling me to hold off. Don't spend the $10 on it, just wait until you go to Ollie's. I am so glad I did because I got A Light on the Hill by Connell and Cassette, which is book one in the Cities of Refuge series, for four dollars. Take a minute, take a minute, take a minute. How exciting is that? Oh my goodness. I almost spent like almost eleven dollars on the book and something told me to hold off. I'm so glad I did because now I got it for four dollars and now I can put the books together and I'm so excited and Jenna aren't you so proud of me? So I bought a total of four books while I was at Ollie's and it is definitely something I could have spent so much money. There were so many books that I'd never heard of, authors I'd never heard of, all within the Christian fiction realm and I was so intrigued and I loved it and the books were only like four dollars but I did good my mom and my sister totally helped me cut it down and I only ended up walking out with four books very proud of myself I'm definitely I finished the series at least I believe so there might be a couple more that I have to finish um but I have finished the series that I need to for the time being so until the beginning of the year I am trying to definitely put myself on a um book buying ban at least until December because there are quite a few books coming out that I'm super excited about so we'll see how that goes all right I hope you guys enjoy seeing today's video and seeing me spend all of my hard-earned 
monies on books and now I need another bookshelf because I am totally out of space. You can follow my blog for the love of Christian fiction .com, and you can also check out my Instagram which is for the love of Christian fiction. All my other links are in the description box below and I think that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!